Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Yes. And uh, today is very exciting because we are going to... France! Sorry about that. We're just <laughs> deaf with everyone now. Uh. Um, but yeah, we thought we'd do something that we've never really done before. We're going to explain more about the process of getting into France. Um, like two camper vans is going to add a little bit of stress. Um, and the fact that we've built them ourselves, not sure how they deal with that, whether they want to check V5s or whatever. Yeah, and we've never gone through without gas before, so that'll be interesting to see, because they're normally quite hot on checking things are switched off. It's like you're going to have a long time looking for the switch in these vans, mate. Yeah. Um, so that's a couple of, of little things. The other thing I would like to say so far is it's not fair, folks. Somebody's a metre shorter and somebody's channel ticket, channel tunnel ticket, Eurostar, Eurotunnel, whatever you want to call it anyway, was considerably cheaper than mine. Yeah, it was like 35 quid cheaper or something, wasn't it? Because it's short ass prices, I'm guessing. Well, obviously, you know, you, you get what you pay for, but oh. you pay for what you get. Indeed. Essentially, mm -hmm. yes. Oh. This video is sponsored by XL Hosting. If you're looking for a domain name, web hosting, or amazing email, go to xlhosting.uk and sign up today. Nineteen twenty is the next free one, so I'm choosing a nineteen twenty. Okie doke. This is the best bit now, is does Mandy get the same crossing? It's an hour earlier than the one that we booked onto. Um, and it's quite um, common for them to do that if you turn up a little bit earlier, uh, that they will offer you um, a crossing earlier. Sometimes there's a fee, so there was one that offered me a crossing in about an hour, but it was £75 more. So obviously I didn't bother with that one. Um, I've just gone for the standard one, um, which was a free upgrade if you like or an earlier crossing so fingers crossed mandy gets on the same one Did you get the 1920 as well yep i got the 1921 Woo Is that a France, oh yeah do you think that the kitchen roll is trying to tell me it doesn't want to live up there in its cubby hole anymore Oh, and the my bar mat as well I've decided to give up today. I think Mandy lost a coffee maker, so I'll give her a couple of minutes to calm down and we'll go check how she is. And I think then we're going into the um, little terminal building to do a bit of uh, duty-free shopping. Just a bit of an update as well on Mandy's windscreen on the van. It was repaired. Not quite the best repair I've ever seen. Um, but yeah, they said they were coming out to replace it. Actually, they came out to repair it. So we'll have that done another time. But anyway, let's go and have a look around the terminal building. Oh, what <sighs> YouTubers. We've not enjoyed uh, tax-free shopping for some time now, have we? No. <laughs> so you get a nice tax-free area here, if you've never been. Some food places, a little bit in the middle. An AA shop to get all the stuff if you've uh, not got all the European stuff. And a Smith's. I think uh, Ash and Marie got to benefit last time we were in a, in a thing, didn't we? Because did. we got loads of whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> I hate these places though, they stink. Mm. <laughs> but gin for 12 quid. Is that good? Yeah. for Mandy some jam shed a bit of red wine six for 23 quid yeah wine's cheap in France babe this is true <laughs> that's a little cool demonstration of how the channel tunnel was built uh, the tunnels alignment and all the bits and bobs inside how it crosses over and the emergency stuff in there just in case you've never seen inside the terminal building or understood how it's built I thought you know what why not put that in a little bit of a video take a couple of minutes and at least people will see what's going on them but now france if you're ever at euro tunnel come to lane 13 if you're at the front and um it's on the folkestone side obviously you'll find our sticker on the barrier along with all the other stickers so yeah send us a photo if you see it tag us in it <laughs>
probably can't actually see me because it's quite dark because we're actually in the the, uh, the tunnel it's quite a strange um thing but um we just had a call with um, my daughter and son-in-law whilst they go and view a new house um and they just wanted our opinion on it um so we've had a video chat um between two vans and them over a, uh, in derbyshire and um yeah we are well and truly under the english channel right now and we have full 4G service, certainly on EE anyway. And it was certainly working enough to have a proper house tour and a chat with them about, you know, sort of like usual things you ask, you know, when you're sort of like looking around a house and things like that. So, yeah, that was quite cool um, to know that. Oh, here's a pop in. Must be on our way back up now. We don't need the pop in. There you go, see? So, uh, yeah, that was so cool such a cool thing and uh, yeah well done euro tunnel for getting that technology um in the euro tunnel it's freaking amazing sadly mandy's radio has gone flat she's still there though <laughs> and uh we've just got into france got sat nav all set up as soon as i power them start the engine we're off to our first french park up There we go folks packed up first little french park up it's like an old fortress or something like that quite nice isn't it and um, but yeah no issues getting here sailed through all the uh, the checks and controls apart from mandy's radio going flat on the way here it was all right did get stopped at the gas station as in to check um the euro tunnel people wanted to check because we've put down camper vans and they identify as camper vans, they said, oh no, we've still got to check though. I'm like, no, no, we definitely haven't got gas on board. No, no, we've still got to check. Are you... Yeah, we've got no gas. Yes, sir. Everything we cook on is all electric. Electric, lovely. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. Especially poked her head through the door and went, yeah, okay then. Yeah, they obviously have to check, make sure you're not carrying LPG that isn't um, isolated as well. So yeah, that was quite cool. Uh, vans have behaved well, everything's all right. We're only about 40 minutes into France, in all fairness. Uh, just wanted to get something that was um, uh, fairly local to coming over because it's quite late at night. Um, and uh, our next stop um, is to pick up French supplies so yeah, we're off to um, an ocean, massive one actually. You can get car spare stuff, fishing stuff, as well as food and shopping and that. So uh, yeah, get to there in the morning. Right, so we're just at Ocean, which is a massive uh, French supermarket um, chain, but this one is like Tesco's extra and extra and extra and extra. It's like as if Tesco's did a Tesco epic that's what this shop is so it's going to go for a bit of shopping now got our bags ready and see what we can find well we're back and despite the fact that we said we'd only have two bags we had two bags each and then we thought oh while we're here even though we're here for three months <laughs> so um yeah i've got a few little bits of things that hopefully i'm going to find room for in my cupboards and um and this is yours as well oh uh, okay so yeah what, what we're doing that. i think is we're getting the ah oh, we're in france let's eat all our favorite things out yeah. of the way and then we'll be better after or deciding what it is that we really like and then the next time we are going to go in there and buy five of them yeah and buy the ones that like we ate first and we put a bit more of yeah and leave the rest of it so all right i suppose i better find somewhere for all my stuff now
That was quite a cool thing, that wasn't it? That was really cool. It did it did surprise me a little bit because not only it, I mean we love all the nerdy stuff. We like space mm. and rockets. which is the reason why we came here actually. Yeah, because it had a big old space thingy, wasn't mm. it? But it kind of turned. In, I mean, there's obviously a, a bad side to this because it was built by the Germans in the Second World War. And Which it means it was built by... By concentration camp. Yeah. There was a concentration camp in there. Yeah. So obviously it went over the history of that, but then it also had history of the invasion and, and all the things around here as well. So it was very, very informative and it was really good. And you got given these little headphones, didn't you, that didn't touch your ears, which was no. really... Um, any language you wanted as well. And yeah, they thought we were, we were Dutch when we walked in. Yeah, because I've got a beard apparently. Yeah. Um, but um, yeah, it was pretty cool. Um, basically, it was built by the Germans to launch V1 and V2 rockets. Yep. Um, but ultimately, uh, because of Von Braun, um, it went on to make, well, Saturn, um, the um, Apollo moon landings and Sputnik. Yeah, you can say Sputnik so, and then Redstone and all the other spacey things, yeah. all from the technology out of a V2 rocket. Yeah. Quite cool, really. That is cool. That and is they, really interesting. They tell you how it's made and how the rocket fires and everything. So yeah, it's quite cool. So if you're interested in coming here, it costs us ten euros fifty to get in each. Each. So yeah. yeah, for a family of four, they do a special ticket for twenty four quid. And there's also like a planetarium, which is a big three D theater, in the, with them. Um, then they show films about various things while you're in there. So it's it's a good time to come out. There's a cafe mm. in the shop and all the things in there. I'll put the uh, what three words down below now so you can come and find it if you are here. Um, it's probably about 40 minutes away from Calais mm. or Dunkirk area. Yeah, it's so, not too bad at all. Yeah. And uh, we're off to find a little park up now. Um, probably an actual air air because uh, we fancy us some uh, bakery stuff in the morning. Oh, yes, yes. We need a, <laughs> we need a blue laundry. There was one in the little village where we stopped, but it was closed when we went past this yeah. morning. So, yes. Can't be arguing with um, fresh bread in the morning. Fresh bread. Some pan au chocolat. Oh, yeah, croissant. Croissant. And a pan. Or du pan. Cat pan. <laughs> <laughs> four baguettes. Got to always be four baguettes. Yeah. It's lazy of me, but we're having jacket spuds, cheese and beans. Um, obviously, the beauty of having the freezer is I can keep everything there. 40 minutes now. So 40 minutes. I want to do a shake in the middle. And let's go. So this is obviously going to take a lot of power out of the van. Um, but <laughs> it's kind of sunny. You know, we're driving at least sort of half an hour to 45 minutes every day or every other day. And um, why have all this power if I'm not going to use it? I mean, the meal was actually decided because um, I've got some cheese that needs eating. So, yeah, uh, jackets, cheese and beans. Yes, please. Um, jacket spuds with crispy jackets. Loads of mature cheese. And Heinz beans, nothing but the best. And crispy fried onions for me. Mm. Yeah, so, so kind. Oh. Yeah, that used 7% of my power. Wow. For 40 minutes in the air fryer. That isn't bad at all, is yeah. it? Mm. Well, let's scoff. Yes. How about those baby duck ducks? So Mandy's out filming baby duck ducks. It's baby duck ducks. <laughs> Petit canard. French boy, isn't it? Morning folks, and um, it's a bit chilly this morning, about 7 degrees, hence the uh, hat underneath the hat. Um, but yeah, just waiting for Mandy to get up and um, 
going out for a bit of a bike ride. Um, park up at the moment is on a canal network and um, yeah, so we'd go and explore it, see what it's about, see what's around, get a bit of exercise, you know, get back into it. Are you ready? Aye. Let's go. Um, well, it's not all kind of, uh, what do they call it, sun and roses or whatever. Yeah. So, um, yeah, park. park. Farmer's track. Only for about three or four kilometres. Oh, is that a hole? Yeah. I'm sure I won't be able to feel my arms by then. But it just goes to show how well these bikes do, though. Yeah. Just like, take it in the stride. Unlike the riders, <laughs> who complain the whole way. Well, yeah, I've heard a little bit of noise in the background. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh, dear. It's nice to get moving, though. Yeah, it's good fun to be out on the bikes. Mm, definitely. A bit of exercise going on. What have we done so far? Eight miles. Right. Ready? Yes. Let's go. No. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys think that this here looks really smooth, um, it's just because the camera's really good, it's smoothing out pumps. But if you look at the fat on my face and my chin, they'll be bouncing around everywhere. <laughs> Dicing with death a bit. I think so. Let's go another track in the middle. There is no track in the middle, so we'll wear. <laughs> go on, don't make me stop. Oh. You alright? I tried to jump up there. With slippy feet. Well, let's give it a try. You feel like uh, Ewan and Charlie trying to cross the road of bones in the Zillow Gap. Say what? Divorce? <laughs> 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 oh dear. It is a bit road of bonesy. It is a bit road of bonesy. Isn't it? I've got one very, very soaking wet foot. Why did you get a wet foot? Because it, the back end slipped out and I nearly went over and I had to put my foot on the floor and it was in one of those fucking ditches. We've literally got. So that tree there, you can see a little bit of a hump where there's a white van it looks like and then the road starts. You come across it and you fall off. Yeah. I want to get you because it's your fault. I can see the road! We made it! Woohoo! Oh, is that road? We did it! Woo! We made it! I'm not dead. I'm not falling in the river. Oh, you I've see? still got arms that work properly. That's a nice fresh bread. Uh, they had no baguettes, we've gone for a pan banette. Oh, cool. I don't know what that means. We'll find out when we get back. But it smells the winter. It's not frozen. These helmets are fantastic. They're by Lumos. You can get them from my rider as well. Now they even come with a little remote that you stick on your uh, handlebars that have turn signals on the left and right of the back. I haven't set mine up yet, but Mandy has. So you press left and right, and on the back there, you get turn signals left and right. You get a light on the front and the lights on the back, and you can change the flash pattern as well. Is it out? There's an app as well to check, so you can do your own customizable one as well. You can have one permanently, or you just press and hold, switch it off. Quite cool, really. 
I like that, but I am quite knackered now. My legs are Ooh. yeah, quivery legs. <laughs> the cycle route was um, was mixed, I thought. And I thought the interesting bit was you had a nice road section to kind of warm you up and a nice off-road section. I didn't anticipate that it was that much off-road. I just want to put that out there. Someone got really upset. And obviously it did remind us, I don't know if you've ever watched Ewan and Charlie, Ewan McGregor and Charlie Borman. Um, they've done three series now. They've done Long Way Round, Long Way Up, uh, Long Way Down. Now, uh, on series now trying to talk to me. And um, on the Long Way Round... <laughs> it's an interesting question, interesting John. Interesting question. <laughs> so on the long way around, and um, they went across uh, Russia, the road of bones, and there's this Zilong Gap, or I think it's called something like that, where uh, there's no road network or anything. Uh, there's a train network, but no roads. Um, but they tried to do it on their motorbikes. And all they were doing is falling off all the time. At least we didn't fall off. You didn't fall off. <laughs> I need to repair my pu pubic bone after oh. hitting that bridge. Honestly. And you got a wet foot as well, didn't And I've you? got a wet foot because I had to put my foot down and it was right in one of those big tractor divots. <laughs> oh, your name was Mud, young man. <laughs> anyway, new info. 7.59 miles. I was trying to keep to about an hour. So every route I try and design is about an hour. Um, just until we get back into it because I don't want to kill us straight away in the first few days. So speed. 7.03 miles an hour average, which is good considering sometimes we weren't doing more than five on yeah. those bits. Yeah. Um, average heart rate 120, maximum heart rate 156. Okay. I was in the extreme zone an awful lot. Extreme. Um, speed fastest was 14.54 miles an hour. Yeah, that's okay. when you told me I was going too slow. Yeah. So that's how competitive I am right there. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was good. That yeah. I mean. It was a little bit fun. She admitted after we got back on the track, after the Zillong Gap, <laughs> <laughs> she admitted when the cameras weren't rolling that, you know, that might have been a bit interesting. It was a little bit of fun. It was frustrating. And like I say, I had a really wet foot, so it was mighty miffed at that point. But yeah, yeah, that was uh, that was good. But if we could not have but what like that every time, that would be good. Good stuff. It's handy having the bikes because mm. they're so compact when you fold them all down they sit in the back you kind of don't even know they're there they don't weigh an awful lot and um yeah you just get to see loads more so if you are not a cyclist then try them yeah i think just that's the biggest thing isn't it it's if you're not a cyclist mm. because they the my rider bikes make it easy for you to use i'm not a cyclist you're a cyclist i'm not yeah um, I still get wobbly if I take one hand off the handlebars yeah. and stuff, so I'm not used to all of this, but my goodness do I enjoy getting out and about on those bikes. They're so good. And the beauty for me is you've got the mechanical gear and um, electrical assist as well. So pretty much they act like a normal bike. I mean, last year I was riding up and down mountain, mountains like nothing. I mean, I was stressed. <laughs> it was workout, but, you know, I wasn't dead at the top, so well worth it yeah right anyway i think breakfast calls and coffee oh you were moaning you were cold but i'm thinking you got over that now absolutely that last bit warmed me up like you would not believe i was freezing going down the roads my little fingers and then uh, instead i've come back with red palms ah oh, perfect <laughs> right breakfast <laughs> breakfast put the battery on charge put my helmet on charge it's just the 12 volt charger that I've got. I don't use the 240 because the 12 volt charger actually charges it much faster, about a third faster on 12 volt than it does on 240. Um, so yeah, take about an hour or something like that because it wasn't totally flat and then get the helmets charged again. Mandy's making some uh, cheese and ham toasties with the bread we just bought. One of the little things that we did um, make use of today was the fact that you can, um, it's got a USB socket in the uh, side of the screen on the bikes so uh, Mandy was charging a camera so that's our first week um, slowly touring France yes. over and done with <laughs> slow for you isn't it <laughs> uh, we're in a little village called Watton which is what do you reckon about half an hour away 40 minutes or so from Calais because hmm. we did a bit of a thing to Dunkirk hmm. and then down from Dunkirk to see things yeah so, yeah uh, we've had a couple of days of cycling up and down on the um, canal sort of tracks at the side and roads. So that's been quite nice. Yeah, it's been lovely. And we stopped off at the bakery yesterday for some uh, some nice bread. Yeah. So, 
And that's one of the things I think for staying in the airs, I think that's what they they want people to yeah get into the community and do stuff. And to be honest, we would have bought more. We we saw a kebab shop we wanted to hit up and we would have done that, but everything's been closed. Yeah, it's Labour Day weekend, so I guess they've all had like a few days off or something yeah, like that. Yeah, they all had signs so, saying that they were open again on like Wednesday after yeah. we've gone. So, yeah, which is a bit of a shame because we would have liked to have treated ourselves a little bit to some, yeah. some bits of stuff around here. But yeah, it's a lovely place. And like I say, it's free air. Uh, there is a machine that dispenses water, which I think the local tabac shop offers is six euros for six a token. Six euros for a token, but I think it's for like a timed amount of water. Mm. So we were talking to an English guy who was filling up his motorhome and he's just stood there with it just out pilling out the side. I thought he was washing his van from like, yeah. yeah. But no, once you put it's your just... token in, it starts yeah. and it doesn't stop until your token runs out. So yeah, if you do it, just buy one token if you're travelling with people. Yeah, and then uh, Yeah, and share it around a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> but there's bins here um, and you can empty your loo for free as well. Um, you just don't get the rinse option because there's no water coming out. Um, but I think um, overall, this is what the UK needs more of. Yes, absolutely. And for free. I mean, I get what Camper are doing with what the, with everything. Yeah, They're but... doing really well to, to create awareness of a, of a requirement that's needed. But 10 quid, 15 quid a night, yeah. that's too much Way for people that, much. that are doing it. Oh, that's a campsite. And, yeah. and that's not what's going to get people. You want people to come in and spend money, but not... Not spend 12 quid to stay and think that you don't need to go out and, and eat out or go to anything like that. Yeah. So, yeah, more like this. For now, um, next stop's about, um, I think it's about 40 minutes an hour away, but we're going to stop midway to there and we're doing our first little city town stop. Yep, we've not done a city stop. We found ourselves a nice, secure air mm -hmm. to stay at and then uh, and apparently it's 10 minutes walking, so... So nice. Gonna, gonna give that a go. So we shall see you next week and um see where we get up to. Yes. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next week, folks. See you guys. Bye. Bye.